What's happening, royal fans? Let's dive into today's royal headline. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's arrangement with Netflix could be a crucial topic discussed during the review of the so-called Megxit deal. Their decision to quit their roles as senior members of the royal family reportedly left the Queen extremely upset. Now their agreement to link up with the streaming giant will put their departure under the microscope even more, it is claimed. In March, key members of the royal household will gather to review the terms of the agreement struck back in January. The Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William will assess the situation more than a year after the shock announcement. Their deal with Netflix is thought to be worth £112 million. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said that he expects the contract will make things even more difficult for the couple. He shared, Harry and Meghan will be keen on launching their non-profit foundation, Archwell, as soon as the pandemic permits. They are now financially independent, as they intended to be, and will be involved in planning their deal with Netflix. There will be inquiries as to the work they plan to do, especially given the intentionally malignant portrait that Netflix The Crown has painted of the royal family in the fourth season. He added, the earlier episodes were very different. This could be a problematic area, though Harry and Meghan have no links with The Crown, which began in 2016. Speaking about the review, a palace source said earlier this year the royal family and Sussexes have agreed to an initial 12-month review to ensure the arrangement works for all parties. According to other insiders, the couple didn't consult their relatives before making the life-changing decision. That is, it's claimed, caused a lot of anger behind palace walls. Harry's grandmother, the Queen, has released two official statements on the controversial issue, saying that while she is disappointed by their decision, she understands their desire for a more private life. After Meghan and Harry's initial announcement, which they post on Instagram rather than officially through the channels they're supposed to, the Queen released a short but firm statement. It read, Discussions with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are at an early stage. We understand their desire to take a different approach, but these are complicated issues that will take time to work through. And that's how she ended it. Alright guys, as that review period creeps ever closer, I can't wait to see what drama will ensue. Thank you for watching today's article. If you have anything to add, leave a comment below. I'd love to read it. And while you add it, like and don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you tomorrow with more Royal News. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.